Hello and welcome to our rear tutorial. My name is Sigrid Liebler and today I will show you how to perform adjustment and calibration with Via Varicube. The calibration cards are supplied in blue sealed folders. We open the folder with the calibration and adjustment card data matrix by breaking the seals. We take out the card, but please only touch the calibration cards at the edge. And we note the date of first use on the label of the card. The software is started and Vericube is ready for operation. In menu configure, configure adjustment and calibration, I enter how many days calibration will be valid. I can enter up to 90 days, but we recommend to do the calibration monthly. Supplemented with a buffer, it is 40 days. The adjustment starts with menu item configure, adjustment and calibration. The actual calibration and adjustment status is displayed. With next, the software shows that no calibration card data is available and that we have to enter the values for a new card. With OK, we can enter the data. First, we enter the serial number and production date that can be found on the label of the calibration card. The date of first use is today. The best before date is automatically calculated. It is two years after the day of first use or in maximum four years after production date. After two years in use, the calibration cards should be replaced and the new card data must be entered in the software. We can find the reflectance values target on the label of the calibration card. So we enter white, light gray, dark gray and black value. For the next step we need the reference report that is included in the folder of the calibration card with the data matrix codes, recognizable by a round stamp with date and signature on the first page. On pages 3, 4 and 5 we will find the reference reports for the three different symbols on the calibration card. We look on page 3 with the reference results for module size DNOM 0.75 and write off the target values to the software in column DNOM 0.75. We enter module size, print growth, Rmax, Rmin, grid non-uniformity, actual non-uniformity, and contrast uniformity. The other columns are to be completed with the respective values from the pages 4 and 5 for DNOM 0.5 and 0.25. As soon as the whole table is completed, we confirm with OK. The adjustment is done for both red and white lighting. An overview of the entries we've done before is shown and we go on with next. The actual adjustment begins with the first step, level correction. We take out the white card from the other folder and before first use we remove the blue protection foil. Before starting the adjustment, we must take care that the glass pane and the calibration card are clean. Then we put the calibration card with the white side down on the very cube. Now we start the level adjustment with OK. For the second step of the reflectance adjustment, we take the calibration card with the different gray fields and position the center axis of the four gray fields in the center of the crosshairs. Please weigh down the calibration card with a black plate to ensure that it lies flat on the glass pane. We start reflectance adjustment with OK. The third step is the scale adjustment with the data matrix symbol that is marked on the picture in the software. In our case, the symbol with DNOM 0.75 must be used for our camera module with focal length 8mm. 
Remove it in the area of the crosshairs parallel to the axis and add the black plate on top of the calibration card. We start scale adjustment with OK. A calibration report is automatically generated that shows clearly the result pass or fail in the header and in the following we see the individual calibrated parameters for red and for white light source. The calibration report can be exported to PDF. Only the latest calibration report is stored in the software itself. The procedure adjustment and calibration must only be performed after installation and in the following if calibration has failed. Please watch also our tutorial for single calibration. If you have any questions, please find our contact details below. See you next time, your secret Lieblings.